Hello, my name is Rafael Seiz Ortiz from Universitat Politécnica de Valencia, the Department of Applied Linguistics. And in this learning video, we are going to have a look at the different types of jet engine, the engines used in aircraft. We will see the types and the difference be differences between the different types. Uh, because the important objectives of this video are to, first to know the most important types and characteristics of jet engines and also to know the differences between the different types. We will start with the first type, the, the one called turbojets. In this case, the air taken in from an opening in the front of the main engine is then compressed to between 3 and 12 times its original pressure. Pressure is uh, then increased in a centrifugal or actual compressor. Fuel is then added to the air and burned in a combustion chamber to raise the temperature highly, to, uh, to raise the temperature of the fluid uh, mixture to about 1,010 and, and 100 sorry, uh, degrees Fahrenheit uh, and 1,300 degrees. Yeah? Within this range, uh, we have an increase of temperature, high increase as we can see. The result is hot air that is passed through a turbine which drives the compressor. Then we have a substantial, a very important increases in thrust obtained by employing an afterburner. An afterburner is something that is not uh, present in all uh, jet engines, but it can increase uh, thrust and the power of the engine considerably. The turbojet engine is also called a reaction engine and here we have one example pictured. The second type is the one called turboprops. This is a jet engine attached to a propeller. The turbine at the back is turned by the hot gases and this turns a shaft that drives the propeller. Some small airlines uh, and transport aircraft are powered by this type of engine. Compared with a turbojet engine that we have seen, uh, the turboprop has better propulsion, propulsion efficiency at flight speeds below about 500 miles per hour. And recent turboprop engines are equipped and furnished with propellers that have a smaller diameter but a larger number of blades, thus increasing the efficiency of the engine. Engines featuring such propellers are called also prop fans. And here we have a picture to illustrate this type of engine. The next type is uh, the turbofans. In this type, this type has a large fan at the front which sucks in the air. Most of the air, uh, most of the air flows around the outside of the engine, making it much quieter and give it more thrust at low speeds. This is the most important uh, function and specification of this type of engine. Most of uh, nowadays airliners are powered by this type of engine, turbofans. In a turbofan engine, only a portion of the incoming air goes into the combustion chamber or the combustor. The remainder uh, air passes through a fan or low pressure compressor and is ejected then directly as a cold jet or mixed with the gas generator exhaust to produce a hot jet. The objective of this process is a, of this process of bypassing the air is to increase thrust without increasing fuel consumption, some, something, a feature that is extremely important in some, uh, especially in commercial uh, airliners, for example. Here we have uh, two pictures of a typical turbofan engine, which is the most typical in commercial uh, aircraft. We also have another type called turboshafts. This is another form of gas turbine engine that operates like a turboprop system, similar to this type. It does not drive a propeller. 
Mm, instead of this propeller, it provides power for a helicopter rotor. It uses a rotor as a, a moving part. The turbo shaft engine is designed uh, so that the speed of the helicopter rotor is independent of the rotating speed of the gas generator and this has a number of advantages, mechanical advantages. For example, permitting the rotor speed to be kept constant even when the speed of the generator is varied to modulate the amount of power produced. For example, in helicopters and other similar types of aircraft. Here we have a picture of a turbo shaft engine. And then the next type is the one called ramjets. This is the most simple type of jet engine. It has no moving parts. The speed of the jet rams or forces air into the engine. It is basically a turbojet jet in which rotating machinery has been omitted or removed. Its application is restricted by the fact that it is its compression ratio it's dependent wholly on forward speed and not on any other variable. The ramjet develops no static thrust at all and very little thrust in a form of, of uh, in general below the speed of sound normally. This is the range in which this type of a uh, jet engine is normally used. Consequently a ramjet vehicle requires some assisted uh, form of uh, to take off. For example, another aircraft or another machine to assist uh, operations such as uh, takeoff. It has been used primarily in guided mi missile systems, or also in some in space vehicles. We use this type of uh, simple, though a very powerful type of jet engine. Here we have a picture again of this type of engine. In conclusion, we have different types of a jet engine that are important to know and each type of a jet engine has specific designs, configurations and specifications and consequently a different applications in aerospace engineering. And depending on the type, they are suitable for different applications depending on the context. Thank you very much. I hope you found this information useful.